Wevi. Wevi. Ah, bunai apa dia? Wevi. Ah. Ah, dia nak buat apa? Mm, I can say that, uh, it has been special moments for me uh, since Alina arrived to this world. Uh, yeah, it, it was really enjoyable uh, time, uh, 2018. Um, I can say it has been really, really good because I've been performing well, I've been taking good care of her, and now she's growing in a nice way. But since I gave birth to Aline, it seems it's, I got uh, extra energy because I've been pushing myself out there in training. Uh, mentally, of course, I'm, I'm stable. And I can say uh, since I gave birth to her, I, I have run my personal best since 2019. I ran 354 in uh, Doha after my leave from uh, from her so I ran 354 in Doha I ran uh, and now I'm running 350 so you see it's our extra energy I can say it's a little bit different because now you have to balance both you have to balance if, uh, because the baby is at home and you are you have to balance also your career so it's not really easy but it's uh, yeah sometimes it's challenging but it's not uh, something which can give you a headache. It's something you can uh, push yourself. Uh, you, you can still push to your daughter and mentor her in a nice way, showing that this is the direction wh uh, where I, I am and this is the direction where you have to be. So it's just a matter of uh, sacrifice and as well uh, knowing what you are doing. <laughs> Uh, do you get reports that she watches your lessons and she, that she gets excited when she sees you competing on TV? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Every day when I win, uh, she calls me through WhatsApp, through video call, and we normally choke and tell me, congratulations, mom, you really fight. And especially yesterday, I was surprised. She was watching the old race from uh, Siriqua Classic uh, Cross Country. And after I came back home, she was very, very excited. And now she understands what I do, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do, you, do you see a bit of yourself in her, in terms of athletics? Do you think she's going to take after the mom? <laughs> um, yeah, I can say maybe she has genes of running because his, uh, her father also was an athlete. Uh, he was a 2012 bronze medalist in the 800 meters. And I'm an athlete as well. So she has a genes of running and we hope she's going to grow in a nice way and we see in future what she likes to do. Um, it's not easy. Uh, I can say it's not easy to, to uh, to balance sports, to balance as elite athlete, to balance as a mom, as a mother, as a wife. It's not really easy, but it's because, you, uh, because of the people around you. Uh, for me, I can say I have very special people around me. My husband is very, very supportive. And also my daughter understands what I do. Uh, the people around me are really supportive. My manager, my coach, my training partners, Elliot and Sally and the rest. We really uh, support each other in many ways. Uh, for me, what I can ask the female athletes is that uh, do what the hearts want to. And it's all about people around you. And it's all about your mind. If you say you will not come back, you will not come back. It's all in your mind. But if you say you, I will go to maternal leave and come back strong as before, you will manage it. Because people around you will support you and you know what you want and the direction what you want. So for me, I will encourage them to work hard and follow their <laughs> Uh, for me, I can say Aline is just, uh, she's just somebody who gives me strength every day because I push myself to the limits whereby I normally when I'm in training I just focus myself in training because I want to show my daughter the way and she wants to be a champion as well. She normally tells me I want to be Olympic champion in future, I want to be like you, I want to have medals in my, uh, uh, in my cabinet. So it's like I want to show her the way and just motivate her and when she grows 
we will see what she will do. My journey of my career has been really up and down. Um, I started uh, 2010 when I was very, very young uh, with the cross country in uh, Poland. And that's where I ran, I, I ran barefoot in 2010. It was really uh, muddy and then I thought, yeah, I, thank you Nike, you are uh, my sponsors, but I can run with barefoot because I didn't know how to use spikes by then. But uh, I can say it has been a really um, uh, unique journey for me until where I am now as Olympic champion. Yeah, it was really funny because you know running barefooted and you are being given spikes with, uh, from your, your sponsors give you spikes and you are like, hey, I don't know how to use them. Let me use the, the uh, what I am comfortable of. And for me, I was comfortable running barefooted because um, I feel uh, I felt comfortable and I thought, let me run barefooted and the, and, and the future is coming whereby I will run with spikes. And now I am, I'm running spi with spikes. I don't know how to run barefooted anymore. It's, yeah, it was a little bit challenging, but I can say, uh, yeah, because of the young age I was until today, well, I'm so grateful. Oh, I can say it's, it's a long journey. It's a long story um, whereby, you know, you just see your family, you just see your background of the family. Um, just coming from a humble background of a family whereby we, we are eight in my, uh, my family and I was almost the last uh, the last born in my family. So we have the small one in our family, but um, I was the one at least I'm capable of. I did something to change my, my family. And I really thank God where we have come from and where we are freed now, it's really very far. Because uh, my athletics journey started when I was in school. It was like, I got a teacher told me you, you can be an, a good athlete and that is where I started. And then after that I got coach, uh, coach Charles Ngeno. Then he introduced me to training and I keep on training, training, going to cross countries for juniors go, and then just uh, going to school. So I was staying in his house, uh, in that coach Charles house until uh, from, from three. Then I went to stay with my sister. So that's where I started my career and uh, I became Olympic champion when I was just finishing school 2016. Uh, I finished school in 2015 and I became Olympic champion in 2016. So it was really great journey. How was that moment for you? Just from school? <laughs> your, your schoolmates are looking at you on the TV winning an Olympic medal. How, how was it in terms of emotions? How was it for you? Did you believe it actually that I am an Olympic champion? Uh, I can say I didn't believe it because in 2016 I was not expecting to win the gold medal because Kansabe Dibaba was there. And uh, yeah, when you see a top athlete there, you just give yourself number two and number three. So I was just fighting like, let me just do my best to get any medal, whichever medal, gold, silver, or bronze, I will be so happy. But uh, yeah, the grace of God, by the grace of God, I won that race and it was really emotional. Going back home, my parents got electric, uh, electricity uh, by the government and I was surprised. So when I got home, I was really surprised and I got emotion like, wow, this is something I was expecting because I was telling my neighbors back at home that one day, one time we will have electricity because we will not manage to pay the, all the expenses from where the electricity was to my place. It was really far, but it was just by grace of God, it was possible. Yeah, it was really, it was really good. Uh, winning the second gold medal in 2020, uh, 2021, it was really special. Winning the gold, winning first gold as a mom in the Olympics. Wow, it was emotional time. I can still say that was my best moment in, uh, in my life because I went to Olympics as a mom and win the Olympics. I was so proud of myself. Since I won World Championship in London, 
and I wanted to defend the title in 2013, uh, 2019, sorry. I wanted to defend it in Doha, but unfortunately I was coming from maternal leave and I was not that strong enough to, to defend the title. And then I got position two behind Siva Nathan. But at, at that time I was, um, I went to back to uh, to the drawing board with my coach, Patrick Sang, and we thought this is the moment we have to, to defend our title in 2022 um, World Championship in Oregon. And that is what I did. I defended my title. I want to I want to be the great uh, 1500 uh, female of all time. And uh, yeah, I want to, to show the, the other athletes and other women that they can do whatever what you desire and whatever what you want in heart, you can still manage it, yes.